I was back y'all back with another video today we'll be taking a look at this is a 1993-94 upper deck basketball series one hobby box and this set consisted of I think 510 cards the series one was 255 cards and series two was 255 cards 93-94 um, I collected a lot of because I was a huge huge Nick Van Axel fan so that was his rookie year so I got a lot of an actual rookie cards and just I was I was big into collecting just probably more like more or less basketball cards at that point in time um, the base Jordan card in here this series one obviously will not have the rookie cards this will have this is more for Jordan hunting um, this is the base card it's actually a really gorgeous card I submitted in my first submission the SGC I actually had one of these cards from childhood that I thought it looks like it's 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 either a nine or a ten. I think it may be a ten. I submitted to the SGC, and this one goes for uh, a PSA ten. I think goes for around like two hundred ish. SGC uh, ten is probably a hundred plus. I want to say, but there's a lot a lot of different Jordans in this series one. So hopefully we'll grab a couple. I'm going to go a little bit faster than I've gone. I think on on some of these older ones, I'm not going to. I'm not going to name out every player. I'm just going to flip through trying to find the Jordans and, you know, some of the other star players. And if I got any inserts along the way, I'll kind of point those out. Um, but it's, what, 36 foil packs? And how many cards per pack is it? I'm not sure. We will shortly find out. But obviously at the end, I will always come back and do a recap, as always, and just to kind of tell you what I thought of the product. I got this one off of eBay, actually, for... Um, I think for $99 with shipping, it was maybe $95, $99, something like that. I may come back and get a Series 2, but I don't know. Like, a lot of the rookies from, like, 93, 94, like, I mean, you got Penny, you got Chris Webber, you got Jamal Master. I mean, back then, these were all guys who who were really big-name rookies, which is why I collect a lot, but none of them really, I mean, and obviously, I was a Van Exel fan. I, I knew he wasn't going to be no, you know, all-time great. I just, I just love Van Exel, but... None of these guys, you know, the Pennies, the Chris Weber, um, Jamal Mashburn, none of them really panned out to be as good as, you know, a lot of people were thinking. It, it is actually the year that has Tony Kukoc's rookie as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get this thing open and get started, y'all. Okay, so... Like I said, 36 packs. I'm going to try to go fast. I think with these order upper deck ones, you can get them for their... Uh, kind of like stuck together. I think people call it working. That's what uh, a lot of people refer to it as. But let's go. Let's go. Mm. How about I... Yeah, this one, I don't know that I collected a whole lot of this. Like, packs. I, I feel like Skybox. I know I collect a lot of Skybox and Fleer Ultra for 93 and 94, so those are a lot of cards that I had. Not so much the upper deck. I mean, I had some upper deck cards, but not Daniels. Okay, are these stuck together? No. Like I said, we're going to go just, we're going to go a little bit faster. Try to go a little bit faster. It's not a Glenn Rice rookie, I don't think. Um, Gonna go a little bit faster today and just focus on the Jordans when we get them. We got a playoff highlights. So I think there's a lot of the. I think this has the Mr. June cards, which I know the. That's I have a have a few of the Mr. June cards, but they're not in great great condition. It's a Car Malone. Is that a okay special delivery dunk? It's not a. It's not an insert. That's card 249, but. And this is a Keem Olajuwon block shot, and that's kind of messed up along that ridge. It's not not the greatest condition. That's not a not an insert either. They have a lot of cars that are part of the base set, but they kind of like look almost like inserts. That's why you can get. That's why there are um, multiple Jordans in this in the series one. Let's see. Hopefully, we can get a be nice if we can get. A handful of them, but we will see. So far, definitely got this, uh, 
that. Is that a is that a rookie? I mean, it's not one of the rookies that you would want. Yeah, that is actually a rookie. It's funny. That's funny. I wonder how many how many rookie cards are actually in the series one. Kenny Anderson. That's the same Larry Johnson playoff card. That's a uh, B.J. Armstrong card, and that's what James Worthy. So where are we at? Okay, way over here. deck back. It's really unfortunate the upper deck. D Brown is not making I just like their baseball cards too. Sucks that all they're making now is hockey. David Robinson. It's a decent decent shape it looks like. The Willis. Remote Robinson. Checklist. And is that a. No, I thought that for some reason I saw. For some reason I thought that was going to be a. Most of L3. Dominique Wilkins. It's a. Explosive drive. Dominique was someone who. I really liked Dominique. I feel like he's a guy that a lot of people. A lot of people forget about. I mean, he was someone who could freaking really, really fill it up in the 80s and late 80s, early 90s. I mean, he was, he was really close to, like, to Jordan. I mean, a lot closer than, than people, you know, definitely, like I said, definitely doesn't get the credit. Um, what is this? NBA draft picks. Trade upper deck exchanges. Tell me this isn't like a card you got to mail in or something like that. Huh. I don't know what that is. Looks interesting though. Some Perkins, Jeff Turner. Oh, Reggie Miller or Reggie Miller. It's a was it a playoff highlights and a. Season leaders, John Stockton. And, oh, there we go, our first Jordan. Alright, put these over here. Those with the stars. And what is that? That's an NBA Signature Moves. Oops, sorry. NBA Signature Moves, Jordan. So, centering. And it doesn't look perfect. Oops. Corners. Corners look pretty good. Surface looks good. The centering is suspect. So I'll take a definitely worth a closer look at that one. But all right, one Jordan. I think we're what three, four packs in. We got our first Jordan. If we can get five or six Jordans out of here, that would be nice. But I think there's a a scoring leader or season leaders, league leaders type of one for Jordan as well. Kind of like how there was that, uh, that one for Stockton. Like I said, there's multiple. There's probably like five to ten different Jordan cards. I'm not even joking in this first series one. What is that? Checklist. What is that? Schedule card. Is that what that was? Finals and that's a geez, some of finals bill card, right? It's funny because that's now that was a Jordan card, that would actually probably be worth something. I'm curious why they would think to take a shot, <laughs> uh, East final shot with with a bill card right on it. That's pretty funny. Harold Miner. This was actually a card. That, I remember this being a pretty desirable card back in the day. Harold Miner. Right around the time that he won the uh, what this would be a second year card. I think that's around the time or maybe in the year that he won the dunk contest. I don't know if he won it. You know it was the Baby Jordan is what they were calling him back then. So like I said uh, not no one cares about that card now but I do remember that being a I remember being in the card stores. Tell me I mean, if you if you were collecting in 93, 94 at that point in time you know what I'm talking about. 
Oh, what is this? Scoring titles. Will Chamberlain. That's it. So this is an insert card. Not really familiar with this one. So it's scoring seven straight scoring titles. Oh, did they both have seven straight scoring titles? Is that what that is? That's a cool card. I really like that. It sucks that it's nice. All right, two Jordans. This one. I like both of these two. That's the another thing about just. Did I finish going through here? Did I? I can't remember. I don't think that I did. That's the thing, like, at the time, I mean, these upper deck cards were really, really clean looking. The thing is that the, like, the centering on these, it's, it's, it's easy, it's very easy, if, you know, to tell with that white border if your centering is good or not. And also with the white border, your edges, a lot of times, are going to be not going to have as big of, as, as many problems. So that's... I mean, not that the centering is perfect on all these cards, but it's easy. It's really easy to measure, especially if you got one of those, um, like I do, like the little centering tools. It's not, not difficult. You can put that on there, and you can pretty much tell right away how your center is going to be. Like this one will be will probably be harder for me to tell what centering is like on that one. That corner, that upper corner, the upper left corner. Sorry, I was looking at the corner. I feel like that upper. Well, okay, there we go. I'm not sure about that corner. I'll to further investigate that. I think I have a 90, 91 or 92 Skybox that I'm actually really excited. I think that's a Series 1 Skybox I got coming as well. It should be here. Later this week or next week. Robert Pack, dude. That dude had ups. That dude, that was a little dude. What was he? Six foot, six foot one. But he was he would throw down. Yeah, six foot two. That dude, I mean, he was out there with a the forty. He had a forty plus bird. Not not the greatest player, but that dude, when he got up, he got up. That's an Isaiah card, that's pretty cool. Rapid penetration, that's what she said. Alright. And finals. Ooh, there we go. The Shaq season leader card. I like that one. This would have been, I think this is Shaq's, the Shaq's second or third year. I don't know. That one's a little bit, I may have to, I may have to check out some of these corners. But there's a couple suspect corners it looks like. I always bite right here. That's like my go-to. The one that's not coming. I bite right there. I know I'm not, not the only one that does that. Whoa. Okay, we got an old Thunder Dan. Check person. Check person was a really good scorer. D Brown. This is killing me. This up down up down. Willis Horace Grant. Here's another rookie, it looks like, Luther Wright. So, look, what do they get? I think, so I'm curious whether you got you got all the crappy, because like I said, I wasn't even aware that the rookies were going to be <laughs> going to be in here. Here's a Charles Barkley season leader. Season's leader. Most valuable player. But, uh, okay, so these aren't actually inserts. They're just part of the set itself. We've got a Chris Mullen, another season's leader. Kim Olajuwon, NBA Defensive Player of the Year, and then uh, Kevin Johnson highlights. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, they have not been bricked. Well, 
all that bad. John Stark, Bobby Devok. And Perkins. Mitch Richmond. It is annoying how they're like. I wonder why they package them this way. Just upside down, flipped. Flip frontwards, flip backwards. Ooh, scoring leaders. Another Jordan. And that's a hawk. So that's like a. It's crazy. They have like a freaking. <laughs> they have like team cards with like it looks like what well, looks like the entire schedule on the back. And this one on the side is. I'm oh, sorry. Let's see what the condition of this one is. Cannot tell right off the bat. Uh, Alright, so we got three Jordans. We're doing good. We're on pace four. We're on pace for, you know, for our five or six, and they get more than that. I we'll have the Jordan base card. I think that's uh, I want to say that's the most valuable part out of this this set. But Bill Curry. Here's another. What is that? Cedric Sabalas. Field goal percentage. Season leaders. But, uh, well, that's another season leader. That's the same one. The double for the Barkley. And is that another is considered a Jordan card? Eastern semifinals Bulls. That's a, uh, I guess that's somewhat a Jordan card. It's probably not one of the more desirable ones out of here, but it is, uh, it is a Jordan one. So we'll put it over there. I'll move this sleeve that one right away. Alright, Kevin Johnson again, Dennis Scott, Kevin Willis. Maybe like a second year Latrell card, yeah. Second year Latrell Freewell. Where's that same card again? That's season leaders. That's three of them Barkley ones. And here's a what was this? Triple overtime. That's a pretty cool one though. It has Pippin and Barkley. How much they hate each other now? Our Knicks team schedule card. Now, it's nice getting these old hobby boxes <laughs> you can like so many dang on cards with. Nowadays you spend, you know, you can spend a couple hundred bucks and get like 20, 30 cards. Which I guess as far as storage wise, that's nice. Because uh, you're going to have a lot of, a lot of fluff in here. Alright, come on, give me a, give me a Jordan base, give me a Jordan base. Okay, those two cards were... And here we go. Here's our first cards that I think were stuck together. Just ones that I've caught. Simmons, Derek McKee, that's a Celtics team schedule. Looks like a Jazz team schedule. That's a Scotty Game 2 Finals Highlights. And this last one is that same one that we got, that same Jordan Highlights one. Listen, we're trying to move, we're trying to move. Two 
John Sally. Oh, there we go. There it is. All right, let's see what condition this thing is in. This is the Jordan base, is what it is. You know, this is the one that I just milled in. And centering surfaces, surfaces. See, I mean, it's it's a gorgeous card. It really is. Really nice looking card. You can see on there. Can you focus? Will you auto focus? You don't want to, do you? I'm not sure about that corner. The corner, the corners on some of these cards. I will say, yeah, the corner on that one. I may need to try to roll it, but corners on some of these cards is a little bit suspect. I will say that. Another okay. I thought that was a kind of like a rookie card, but I guess not. Robert Ori. It's not a Ori rookie, is it? No. There's another. There's another Shack League leaders one. And it's a Pacers team schedule one. All right, I think we maybe. I don't know if we're even. To be honest, I don't know if we're even halfway through. So we're sitting at four Jordans. Or plus George, I guess, if you um, count these playoff highlight cards, and you're closer to closer to price seven or eight. Corey Blunt. See, this is a Corey Blunt rookie card. Is what that is. Another Bearcat fan. I was disappointed he did not, did not have that great of a career. Not NBA career, at least. Who's that? Rex, Rex Walters rookie card. So what did they save? Yeah, they must have just saved the, the big boy rookies for the Series 2. And that's a Pistons. That's a cool card, though. Pistons uh, team schedule. wonder what the, what the Bulls team schedule one. Is that got a... Uh, so one of the ones that has Jordan front and center on it. Is that a... No, it's Kendall Gill. I thought that was going to be Larry Johnson. Thunderdan, Chris Mullins. Tim Legler. Holy crap. I know he played for the Mavericks. Del Negro. That's uh, another highlight one with Jordan, it looks like. Okay, game four, NBA Finals. It's another Jordan. Timberwolves team checklist. Here's a. Ooh, that's a Rodman. It's nice. Team checklist or team schedule. Yeah, James Worthy. Oh man. Oh no, that's Cedric Sabalas. Okay. Let's see. So I think it's the second one of that that I've gotten. But the second one he got three of the Barclays. <laughs> I've been four. Thurl Bailey. John Williams. Ooh. Tag on it. What's that is 3D standouts, and that's a uh, who is that? Mark Jackson. Oh, that sucks. I think I have a Jordan Hollow or hologram card from this year, and that's an upper deck one. I don't know what year it is. I don't know if it's 93, 94, or what. Oof. Stack of uh, cards over 
Harris <laughs> Rappers is getting huge. John Stockton. Who's this? Uh, Dino Rajay. Another Thorough Barely. Thunder Dan. It's an Isaiah. That's a, oh yeah, that's the same one, that penetration one. That's another, that's that Rodman back. Another Rodman season leaders. And John Paxson highlights. Oh shoot, right on front, don't mess that corner up. Got the Jordan right there on top. Pack out, get that down. Give me that Jordan. Corner, yeah, it seems like the corners are. Ah, uh, shoot, yeah, the centering on this one is not great. It's probably like a, more like a nine. I can tell by centering already. So that's the second base, second base Jordan I got. Oh, flip our, put this one backwards. All right, the so highlights, next schedule. Cedric Sabalas, season leaders. Yeah, I got this all upside down now. Dan Marley, Trey Mills, Chris Smith, oh, that's a uh, John Paxson. Vlade back in there, Dale Davis. Lade and Bill Ellis. Boom. Oh no. Three, four, five. Five Jordans. Five plus Jordans, I guess to say. And counting. What the? We got the. We got the season. I got that one. Mark Jackson. Another D Brown. John Sally. Ah. Yeah, see those are stuck together. Okay, another Dino Raja. Robert Ori. Ooh, that's another one of the Jordan ones. Three feet. Jackson. What is that, a second ear? Yeah, that's what to say. From my high state guy. Sean Bradley. Um, looks like a rookie card. Jimmy Dawkins. Whoa. What is that? Todd Day. I remember you, Todd Day. Checklist, team checklist, and uh, James Worthy at the back. Contains 36 ball packs, holographic enhanced. Do these have the odds on there? I know some of these old ones have the odds on the actual card pack. Muggsy Bogues, so he's number one in this set. Grant Long, Sam Cassell, that's a Sam Cassell rookie card. You know, they may have the, uh, shoot, they may have the, I actually have the Van Axel rookie card that's like this. It's really off-center, though. Um, 
to where it's like he's wearing some really generic jersey. So I wonder if he's got two. I wonder if some of these guys got two Ricky cards in here or not. Jazz with another Carl Malone. Special delivery type thing. Oof. Real Brandon. That thing, he was that was his third year in the league. Shoot. I remember him. Paul Graham. Oh shoot, who are you? You're stuck. Okay. Darren Waller, Derek Harper. It's another Highlights card, that's the same one. We got one of those already. Special delivery. I think I got three or four of those Malone special delivery cards. I remember when I used to do that too. <laughs> yeah, I remember the, uh, what was it, one of the EA games, like one of the Bulls versus Lakers or Bulls versus Blazers, one of the ones would have like special moves, and that would be one of his special delivery. It's like <laughs> that's a pretty funny, that's a pretty funny dunk when you think about it. Stacy Ogman, oh man, Stacy Ogman was not a bad player. Who is this? Who is this? Cover Cheney rookie card with the upper deck. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes, this card. Van Axel. This one's definitely a lot better centering than the one that I got. So for me, that's a, that's a sleeve card right there. <laughs> card, explosive drives, another one of those, and this is a Nix like team checklist. This was one that like all my friends used to give me so much such a hard time about Ben Axel being my favorite player. I was a I like the Bearcats. I love I loved uh Hug Stugs. I used to love the love me some Bearcats. Oh shoot there's a card stuck in the back. So Okay, sweet. So you do get some of these, uh, yeah, I was really not expecting any rookies actually in this Series 1, which I'm curious if these guys just have Series 2 rookies that are, that probably have their NBA. That probably was what it is. The Series 1 probably came out earlier before these guys had, which, it's like, is that like Summer League type of stuff I'm curious of? Because that's obviously not college, it's not a Bearcat uniform, so that must be like Summer League. Maybe Series 2 is later in the season when they got some picks of them during their NBA stuff. That's what, I'm, that's what I would that's what I would assume. Corey Williams. Another Sam Cassell rookie. I don't have a I don't have a Shaq base card. Actually now that I think about it, George Lynch looks like a rookie. I think about it, I don't got a lot of star players rookies. Or not rookies, just base cards like a like a Barkley. I don't know if I have a Barkley base card and that's another Jordan card. Jordan. Okay, so that's that hang time card that I got. Another one. These are the most valuable Jordan cards, but like I said, it's a it's a boatload of Jordans. So if you just want Jordan cards, they're not the most valuable ones. And this is 
they are, they're nice looking board parts too. These are like some really cool ones. I really like that three peak one. I haven't seen any of the Mr. June ones. I know the, I feel like the Mr. June ones are in this series. This series one. I could be wrong though. Maybe they're in series two or Kenny, Kenny the Jet Smith. The guy never shuts up. Brad Darty. This is what Doug Edwards looks like rookie. Byron Houston. That's a Hornets and Timberwolves schedule card. It's a um, crossover dribble. You step, you step, two step. Tim Hardaway. That was another one. I feel like that was in one of those Bulls versus Lakers Genesis games. It was Bulls versus Blazers. So was it Tim Hardaway? You, you, you step, two step. I'm gonna say. Mark Eden, another Casal. Dang it, give me, give me these freaking Vanaxel rookies in spades, man. That's what I want. The heck was the same Cassell. Oh my god, did I just get two Cassells in the same back to back? You literally, gee whiz. I got Cassell rookies for days, man. They're probably about the same value, Cassell, and Cassell's got I think a couple rings. Money. He's not as cool as Vanexel. Everyone knows that. Ooh, Clyde the Garage. Clyde Drexler, gliding layup, and then a crossover dribble. So I do like. I do like this set. This is a pretty cool set. I will say that much. <laughs> still got like. Still got about ten packs left. We are powering through this thirty-six pack foil. 36 foil packs, which means I probably got about, let's say, let's say I got two more Jordans in those 10 packs. Let's see if we can, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be nice if we get 10. We got seven. We're going to have at least, uh, I think we can get at least nine. It would be nice to have an even 10. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Oh, on cue. And this is, uh, which one is this one? So this is a Steels later. Okay, I haven't got that one yet. Reggie Miller. Ugh, Miller. <laughs> Just when I said I got, so that's nine, nine Jordans. Nine, nine times. Nine times. I have one of these, I mean, these hang times. That's the third hang time card that I got. First one of these that I got. Uh -huh. Some of these, I mean, I gotta have, what, nine Jordans? I gotta have one that's like a PSA 10 and a decent card. Well, that's Charles Oakley. Yeah, this has got to be like the ultimate Jordan box right here. Oh, Sean Kemp alley -oop dunk. Nice, I like that one. Some nice looking cards in here, I'm telling you. Upper deck really back then. I don't know, I feel like they did a really good job making some nice looking cards back then. Glossy look on the flint. They they've aged well too. Look longly before he was with the Bulls. Was he with the Timberwolves? Oh, the Kimba. It's first the Kimba card I've gotten. Who's this? Clarence Weatherspoon, second team, all rookie team. So he was a year before that, okay. Chris Mills, Tim Perry, Chris Mills again. It's funny when you have like the one though I like the cards. Uh, like when I got that Cassell, literally the same card. 
Like, how does that happen? How do you get the same card back to back? That's just pretty funny. Highlights was at a Pacers team schedule and then a Danny Manning quick release card. I don't know why I put it in that stack. I guess I've just been putting all those kind of little cool nickname cards in the same pile, even if it's nothing off. I mean, that's Danny Manning. I don't see Nobody, I sure as hell don't. All right. Xavier McDaniel, come on, I need one more Jordan. That's, I mean, that's a Vlade, Glenn Rice. One more Jordan makes it even 10. And like I said, you're talking 10 plus when I look at some of these highlight cards, which I'm sure they probably count as Jordans too. Ugh. Marshall Lomas, there's that. No, no. Isaiah again, Lakers, team schedule. Yeah, we've got another, oh, that's another, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of a Jordan card. First round, Bulls versus, who's that against? Versus Hawks, 3-0. Dun-dun-dun, dun-dun. Bum-bum-bum-bum. Bum-bum-bum. Holden Polonese. David Robinson again. So I think that's the third Robinson that I got, I feel. You know Raja, I got about three or four of him. That's another Sean Bradley rookie. Ooh, there's that three P card again. I'll just leave that in the mat. Try to get through here. Oh, David Robinson, was it a low post spin move? Alright, so we're at 10. We are at 10 plus Jordans right now. The Pacers, I think I got this upside down. Pacers schedule. Danny Manning was at that quick release. Ooh, that's Sean Kemp card again. Give me another Venexel. Or another Venexel. That's what I want. I want another Venexel rookie. Come on, make it happen. John Paxson, Mark West, James Worthy, Corey Williams. I don't remember Corey Williams all that much. He must not have played. Kendall Gill, Chucky Brown. Three. All right, we're down to three. Three. Okay, I think I already got my ten. So we got ten George. I'm just rude. now. I'm just rooting for, I'm rooting for another Venexel. Two next. Nick the quick. Make it happen. Uh, Del Curry. It's a Kevin Johnson. Oof. Did I hit that corner? I think that's just a Kevin Johnson. Mullen. Do, do, do. Another Mullen. Pull up jump shot. I think that's the first one of those I got. It's a Barkley. What is this? Is this a leader's one? Okay. Got the Barkley. That's like the fourth or fifth of those I got. And that's the first one of that. The BJ Armstrong. Three point percentage. I remember that year when he led the league in three point percentage. I remember that? I remember BJ. I like BJ Armstrong. He's definitely a player that I like. Oh shoot. Another pass right there. I didn't even know I had. So I think we're down to four. Baby Jordan. Baby Jordan. Harold Miner. Was that a Clyde Drexler base? Is this a guy back there? I feel like I had a card that was stuck together. Rex Chapman. Brad Dordery. What the heck? Sweeping hook. There's another Jordan Highlights game card. And another playoff highlight card. Alright, let me grab this one before I forget about it. Mm-hmm. 
Scott Skiles, another Jim Jackson. Eek. Eek. A couple of these are stuck together. John Paxson, Scott Skiles. West. Overall, yeah, this was a. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the. Uh, like I said, they weren't breaking, so the surfaces on all these is really clean. There were some seasonal leaders. What, what do you have? Cliff Robinson, NBA Six Man Award. Then we got another what, block shots and keen card. And then uh, just another highlights. Um, yeah, the corners is the only thing that I think has been a little bit suspect. Is my last pack? Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Quick. Make it happen. Make it happen. Dennis Scott. Uh, you know you're kind of been spoiled on a box when you're rooting for Nick Van Exel and not for Michael Jordan. And there's another Jordan season leader. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And... All right. Well, that is it. Let's see what? Oh, yeah. Let me go. Let me go do some research, and we'll come back, and I will recap this up. So, stand by. All right. Now, so let's go ahead and do a recap here. Um, so we got this is the series one. Obviously, we got it for Jordans. Um, and we got 17 Jordans, so we can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, these ones all here are probably all, I think these are the lower value ones. They're all between like, you know, like two to five bucks. Like raw, you raw you can probably get one to three bucks for any of these maybe like four or five if you're lucky um for some of these cards raw i don't know that any of these i mean graded i think some of these graded um you get a 10 you can maybe get like you know 30 to 50 bucks uh for me to get like a psa 10 but obviously that don't make no sense because psa is charging 100 dollars for grading so none of these will be submitted for grading um right here these right here, um, this card right here, this uh, this is an insert, this Jordan 7 straight scoring with Will Chamberlain. Um, this is, uh, you know, just going off of Becca prices, this is the most valuable card. This is about a $10 card, according to them. Um, I, didn't, I, I didn't see any PSA 10s listed that have sold recently, so it probably is a somewhat rare card. Um, it has the top, there's, there's like a soft... There are some corner issues on the top of this, and the top border is kind of suspect. So, I mean, this I don't think would grade out as a 10 anyways, um, so I don't think I'll be sending this in. Um, it's probably like an 8 or a 9, I, I want to say, unfortunately, which is probably the coolest card that I got out of here, but it's not in the greatest condition, um, unfortunately. So, probably like Raw, that's probably like a $5 card or something like that. Um, these guys right here, obviously these two PSA 10s of these um, go for around, you know, 150 maybe the, you know, lowest. Sometimes they go for two 250 So between, I'd say 150 to 250 is a PSA 10. These two are in decent condition. Um, they're probably not, they're probably nines or tens. The centering on both is within, um, it's within, you know, 10 guidelines. So... These may be tens, maybe nines. Um, one of them has a kind of a suspect corner. I think this one does, but these are, like I said, they're nines or tens. I don't know that I'll send them in because I had already sent one in to SGC, which is actually like that thing was like pristine, um, no doubt, like ten. And at least in my mind, I, they, if that thing comes back at the nine, I'll be surprised. But I think these these are nines or tens, so I, I'll probably hold off on sending them in. Um, these three um, hang time ones. Can also go for you know PSA 10 of these can go for 150 to 200, 250 type of a thing, but I don't think that these the centering on all these is off just a little bit to where I don't know that any of these would be tens. These all have good corners. All four of these have good corners. Surface on them were really good, 
but I don't know that the the centering is kind of suspect. I think this may be the best one. You can probably see on camera that the centering, more or less top to bottom, um, is not 100% perfect. So I don't know that I'll send any of these in either. It's one of those things like if PSA drops their prices down back down, you know, like 10, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, these would all probably be sent. I'd probably send all these in or at least most of these in. But, you know, STCs cost 30 bucks and their stuff just doesn't have the resale value. So it's not really worth sending, sending all these in, in my opinion. Um, other than that, obviously, I'm a huge Nick Van Axel fan. This thing is actually pretty flawless, actually. I have this card in my collection already, but it's horrible centering. This thing is really nice condition. Unfortunately, this is probably one of my least favorite of his rookie cards because he's wearing, like, the looks like Summer League jerseys. I like all his jer rookie cards in this that are in Series 2, so we'll get to that in a second. Um, other than that, uh, a couple shacks. Uh, a lot of these season Season Leader um, cards... For a lot of the stars, they got like four Barclays, a couple Rodman, Stockton, stuff like that. And I really like these signature series ones. Um, just has kind of like just different signature, you know, moves. It kind of, like I said, reminds me of like uh, NBA, like, you know, Bulls versus Lakers, Bulls versus Blazers, games on the Genesis that would have these on the back of the, uh, the back of the cartridge, uh, pack of the case. But some cool cards in here. Uh, out of the base cards, like I said, I got the base, a couple of base Jordans, but there's not a huge amount of like great base cards in there. I'm curious to see if a lot of those star star base cards are in series two, which I'm kind of assuming that they are at this point. Um, so, would I re recommend this product? Um, if you, like if you're a Jordan fan, like I said, you get I mean 17 Jordan cards out of here. I mean that that that's that's really awesome. And if you do get a nice pristine 10 out of that base card or this hang time card, I mean, those are, you know, 150 plus, you know, 150 to $200 PSA cards. So those those are pretty cool to have. And I, I do think they're really nice looking cards. I think there's some nice looking Jordan cards in there. Um, some of the, like the quality of these cards, I mean, there's there's some soft corners here and there overall. I think they're the majority of them are pretty nice looking cards. Centering, centering is off on some, but not by much. You don't have like really large centering issues like you do on some older older cards um i will probably like i don't know if i'd get another box of these i'll have that's like i you know i always say i i collect sets a lot of the times so and this is the set i'll probably try to complete at least series one um i, I want to see how close i am to completing the set i could just fill this in just get some commons online to fill in what i don't have um i'll probably get series two before i get series one there's a lot of like van Exel and hardaway and a lot of the better rookie cards um, are in that series. I mean, I, I really wanted these Jordans more than I wanted those rookies, but it's, you know, it's it, it's down my list. I don't know that's going to be the next box that I get, but I may put it down the list of, as far as like getting the Upper Deck 93, 94, Series 2. Um, I possibly would get in there one of these boxes, but like I said, I would get a Series 2 before I get in there a Series 1. I do think that Series 1 is the better box just because of all the Jordans, but being that I already got one of these, I think I, I would try out a Series 2. But overall, that's it. Um, I mean, if, if you're a big Jordan fan, you want to add some really nice looking Jordan cards to your collection, I think it's, I think it's a good hobby box to get, and it's pretty inexpensive. You can get it for like you know, ninety ninety to about hundred hundred and ten dollars currently. Um, that's with shipping off eBay. I think, like I said, I think I got this for ninety nine or ninety five or ninety nine, like with shipping. So overall, pretty decent product. Pretty happy with it. Um, but that is it. Um, thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll see you in the next video later.